In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect a WordPress contact form to WhatsApp. So the first thing I'm going to do is to head over to plugins, add new plugin, and I'm going to type contact form seven. And from here, I am going to install this contact form seven. It has 10 million active installations is very, very popular. So I'm just going to install now and I'm going to activate it. I'm going to go back to the add new plugin section and I'm just going to type for me chat. And from here, I'm going to install this one. It says connect contact forms to WhatsApp. So I'm going to install now and I am going to activate it. So from the left column, I'm going to come down to for me chat and it's going to prompt me to create a floating widget. So I'm just, just going to do that, create a floating widget. And from here, I can see I have four steps, WhatsApp, customize, greetings and triggers and targeting. So I'm going to start with step one. The first option is to enter a widget name so I can put whatever I want here. Let's say WhatsApp widget. Next step is to choose how you prefer to display your widget. There are two options, single and multi-agent. So I'm just going to leave it at simple because multi-agent is going to prompt me to update. And this plugin is going to prompt you to update multiple times. For example, if I choose multi-agent, it's going to bring up a window and it's going to say unlock access to all features. And obviously it's going to prompt me to go to premium. I'm going to have to pay some money. So I'm just going to leave it simple. I'm going to close this window. Next step is to enter a WhatsApp number and it detects the area code of your country. So I'm going to enter my number here and the following step says behaviors and there are two options. Open WhatsApp in a new tab and navigate to WhatsApp web from desktop. But if I put the pointer of my mouse over this explanation it says to open the whatsapp link in a new tab on desktop but i don't want to do that so i'm just going to turn it off i can now go to customize or hit next so i'm just going to hit next here and now we have more options the first one is custom icon and by default it already has an icon if i wanted to put my own icon i will have to turn into a premium user which i'm not going to do on this video Next is icon size and icon position. And if you look over to the right, you have this box and the options are small, medium, large, which goes in the free version and left and right, which goes in the free version as well. So if I go to medium to small, it will change here. And I can also use the large option or I can change the icon position left or right. So I'm going to leave it to right and medium. I'm going to scroll down a little bit. And the next option is call to action. And by default it's turned on. I can actually turn it off if I wish. And you have seen that it has disappeared from the right side. So I'm just going to turn it back on. And the call to action text is contact us. I can change it if I want to reach out. This option call to action style is for premium users and this other one text size, small, medium, large is for free users. I'm going to leave it in medium. Next option here is customize form and there are several options. There's form me chat, there's contact form seven. So we're going to get to contact form seven in a while. At this point, I'm going to leave it to form me chat. Now by default, Formi Chat displays these options, an option to enter your name, your email, the phone number, and a message. If you want to get other variables, you can come to insert and you can see that it also has site name, site URL, user ID, page URL, and page ID. For the sake of this video, I'm just going to leave these options. Next option is really interesting because it says receive leads via email and that is for users that upgrade to the premium version. The default value for form size is medium. I can change it to large or to small, but I'm going to leave it at medium. Form title. It says contact via WhatsApp. I can change that if I want. I can put reach out, but you must be careful not to type too many things in this field because it's not going to look well. So I'm just going to erase that and just type contact via WhatsApp. Header text. I can write something in this space here. So for example, I can type something like please fill 
these fields. But I'm not gonna write that. It's pretty obvious that the person needs to fill those fields. For the text, I can also type something like thank you, but it's not necessary. Just gonna go ahead and delete that and then submit button. It says send on WhatsApp. I'm just gonna leave that as is. Next, allow users to select country code that is for premium users and form style is also for premium users. Font family, I'm gonna leave the default font and form behavior has two options, open by default and close on submit. If I put the pointer of my mouse over this explanation, it says open the form by default when the page is loaded. So I'm just gonna turn this on and we're gonna see what the behavior is. So I seem to have finished here, so I'm just going to scroll up and go to Greetings or Next. I'm now on the Greetings tab, and by default, it seems to be turned off. And it says Display Greetings Pop-Up. So I'm just going to turn it on to see what appears. And it looks like it has several options, which we can see on the right side. So for example, I'm going to change it to Wave. And this one is not active, so I like the one that says Wave. It says... Uh, what are you looking for? And it has two styles, but it only gives me the option of using style one because style two is for premium users. If I scroll down, it says customize greetings and I can also edit these options. So I can remove the little hands. I can turn it on or off. Position, before heading or after heading, but after heading is for premium users and it caught me on that one so i'm just going to exit out from here the greeting heading default text says what are you looking for so that's fine heading size small medium large so medium is okay i'm going to scroll down a little bit more and it says greeting message and it says feel free to ask your questions here we are always ready to assist you all the time whenever you need. So that message is good, but you can obviously change it if you want. Let's say, for example, I can put hello. Thanks for reaching out. How can I help you? Scrolling down, we have the greeting colors. That's for premium users. Greeting font family. I'm going to leave it as default. Show greetings call to action. So that call to action seems to be this element here, which we can turn on or turn off. And the message says, ask your question. So obviously you want all of this to make sense. I'm just going to leave it as ask question to see what the behavior is. And the call to action icon is this one by default. And if we want to change it we'll have to upgrade i'm scrolling down here the next option is greeting behavior and it says on click and it actually only has this option here so i'm done with this section and i'm going to go to next or triggers and targeting and now on the last step triggers and targeting i have two options the first one is triggers and it's active by default so if I activate it, I will have these options here, time delay, page scroll and exit intent. So time delay is for it to load on the page three seconds or X amount of seconds after the page is loaded or when the page is loaded. So for example, I can actually put turn on this time delay and just put five seconds and in theory it should display after five seconds when page is loaded and this other option says targets and this one is for premium users so that's it for now i'm just going to go ahead and hit create and it says setup finish now you can use for me chat and i'm going to hit done now, I'm not going to do this all the time, but there are some plugins that you need to clear cache for them to work. So an easy way to clear cache after you have made changes like here on this Formy Shed is just going over to Post, All Posts, and just edit one of your posts. So in this case, for example, I'm just going to come here to Quick Edit, and I'm just going to add a space here and update that will clear the cache and by clearing the cache it will accept the changes that have just been made on the wordpress site so just remember that so now it's time to go on my mobile device to see what this for me chat looks like so i'm just going to type the url of my website 
and as you can see as soon as it loaded it comes up with the form and it comes up with the greeting and now it comes up with the call to action so all three of them came up actually the call to action came up for last so let me just refresh that again and as you can see as soon as it refreshes it comes up with the contact form it comes up with the greeting and next in five seconds it comes up with the call to action which says reach out now i didn't like exactly how it looked because i really don't like the greeting to come up just up front so i'm going to come back to my formy chat and i'm going to edit this widget and i'm going to look for the option where i can turn off the greeting that it doesn't have to come up immediately so i'll go over to greetings and i am going to turn off this option and i'm going to come back over to customize i'm going to scroll down and there was an option that says uh, form behavior open by default i don't want that by default either so i'm just going to turn that off now i'm going to save the settings and i'm going to see what it looks like so i'm just going to hit next next and save now I'm back to my mobile device and I'm gonna refresh the page to see what the changes look like. But if the changes are not taking place it's because you have not cleared the cache on your website. And in my case, I have already cleared the cache. So I'm just gonna refresh again. And as you can see, the greeting has disappeared and the form has disappeared, but the call to action appeared after three or five seconds. I don't recall, I believe I put it for five seconds. So for me, it works better this way. And now I am back to my Formy chat and I am going to edit this widget and I'm going to head over to triggers and targeting. And we had previously used the time delay trigger and I'm going to turn that off and I'm now going to use the page scroll trigger. So I'm just going to put page scroll and I am going to display after it says 25% scrolling on a page. I'm going to lower that to about 5% and I'm going to save this option. And obviously I'm going to clear my cache. So I'm now back to my mobile device and I'm going to refresh the page here. Now just keep in mind that the time delay trigger has been turned off and I'm currently working with the page scroll trigger and it's set to 5%. So I'm just gonna do that. And as you can see, as soon as I scroll down, the reach out call to action comes up. So it's now time to see exactly how this works. So I'm just gonna touch the reach out trigger and I'm just gonna fill out the form. So enter your name. Let's suppose that my name is Bob and it's not Bob and my email address i'm just going to put no at email.com enter your phone number i'm just going to enter this number here which is not my phone number and enter your message i'm just going to enter something like i need to purchase your product and that's it i need to purchase your product and i'm now going to hit send on whatsapp and it's going to open up whatsapp and as you can see, it comes up with the information. It says name, Bob, email, no at email.com, phone, and it has a phone number, message, I need to purchase your product. And when I hit the green arrow on the right side, the message has been sent. I am now back to my Formy chat and I am going to edit this widget. But now I am going to work on the customize. And one of the options in customize is customize form and contact form 7 which is the first plugin that we install is one of those options so let's see what it looks like using contact form 7 i'm going to come back up here and i am going to save the settings on the left side on the contact i'm going to go to contact forms and there seems to be a default contact form i'm going to edit it and creating a contact form is not complex but you have to know what you're doing you have to know which values to enter for example here there is a simple contact form that displays or that provides the person with the opportunity to enter their name their email and to type a message so that those are the fields that we have here we have a field to enter your name your email and a message 
but interesting enough we have a whatsapp for me chat tab on the top so i'm just going to go over to that tab and the first option says connect whatsapp so yes i want to connect it with whatsapp it says enabling this feature will allow you to send the contact form seven leads to your given whatsapp number so obviously i want to do that i'm going to turn it on and here what i'm going to do now is to type or enter my phone number so my number has been entered and i'm just going to leave all these options here as is opening a new tab i'm going to say no i'm just going to leave these options here and i'm going to hit the save button I am back to my mobile device and I'm gonna refresh the page here. And now the form changes. It actually comes up with a form that is working with contact form seven. And what I'm gonna do here is to type a name. I'm just gonna put this and email. I'm just gonna put this email here and subject. I'm just gonna put anything like, hey, please help me. And let's correct that here and your message is actually optional this box i'm just going to type something like all of this is the message that i want to send to this person and i'm going to hit the submit button here and it takes me directly to whatsapp and as you can see it does have the same uh, information that I just entered and I'm just going to hit the send button and it says your name and as you can see the information is different from one form to the other the second form that you're seeing here is the one that we use with contact form 7 and the first form that we use is the one with the form me chat so as you can see that is how you connect a WordPress contact form to WhatsApp but stay with me to watch other videos about connecting WordPress with WhatsApp.